Cool. All right, so we are recording. Let me just check. Okay, I think we're recording. Let me check. We're waiting for more people to get on. Okay, so I am Bonnie Donahue. We are recording this live in our Zoom room only, not on Facebook, with Brittany and Robin and Claire is getting on. And basically, we if you guys are watching the recording for all of our oil leadership team family um, and oil community, we want you on live. We're starting this new program, but we're trying to navigate a few things. So it's getting up a little bit slower than we wanted. But I was just saying to Brittany and Robin, we want to get these faces on here because um, it really helps you get outside your comfort zone to go on a video like this. And so when I first started, literally, I was so afraid to get on to video, which I don't know if you guys have heard me say this before, or if you guys um, can tell, even like in my old videos, I've some of them like, oh my gosh, they're so bad. And even still, I'm like, they're bad. But, you know, some of them I think are good. But anyway, so I was with a coach. I took a coaching um, leadership program with the John Maxwell to the 15 um, laws or levels, right, laws of uh, leadership. I can't remember the name of it, but anyway, I took multiple John Maxwell classes, and one of the things that we had to talk about was your biggest fear, and you guys, my biggest fear, like, it was, I think I was even a diamond already, because I really didn't start doing any training videos till after I was diamond. I really didn't do anything on social media until after I was diamond. Um, Maybe when I was platinum, so like the month I hit diamond, I really started going out there on social media. But most of that was done through phone calls and through messages and sampling and like all of the old stuff. So I was so afraid to get on a video, but I was talking to the, the trainer and the group. And I'm like, my biggest fear is getting on and doing a video. Like of my all-time fear, it's like holding me back. I want to do videos, but I'm just so afraid. And... Um, you know, and even still, like, I just said, um, like, I'm like, I say, um, all the time. I feel like there's other people that are always, you know, saying better things. It's coming out, you know, with a good flow and I mess up on my words or I don't know everything or someone knows, you know, they'll say it better than me, you know? So that was one of my biggest fears. So my homework for that week that I gave myself was just to do two videos, you know, and I survived them somehow. Right. You know, and then you do another one and then you do another one and then you're like, okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, and so that's why, well, now I'm like a lunatic on Insta stories. You can't stop me, you know, um, and doing the videos. But I'm like, so we're talking about the people getting on videos. If, if you're listening to this and you're thinking, oh, you're clear, just get on. You know, I, that can never be me or I don't want to put my face out there or I don't want to talk or whatever. But I'm telling you, your, your team needs you to show up. You need to show up and you need to lead your team. It's, it's not likely your team is going to start doing all these things that you're not doing. I mean, that could happen, right? But you want to be the leader that you wish that you had, right? Or, I mean, you have an amazing leader, obviously. But, um, hey, Claire, I don't know if you're muted. I'm going to unmute you. But you know what I mean. So you want to lead first and lead by example. Claire, we're just talking about going on video and getting over that fear. It has nothing to do with, with um, <laughs> the schedule. So we're not live on Facebook because, like, it just wasn't working. It was going so slow today again, and you were having problems getting on to get on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. So we just already started recording and we're just doing this. We're going through slow, but, um, so anyway, that was my little story about getting over fear and Robin, you're going to talk about that or actually Brittany about doing the videos, but Robin, I see you doing amazing videos, with faith and you know, like other things. I'm like, man, you guys are awesome. So I'm so excited. Um, okay. So, Oh, one quick announcement, and then I'm going to let Claire talk. Are you ready to do your oil um, skinny jeans? Um, yeah. Okay. So the, the awesome thing, I just want to tell you guys congratulations, because our team hit 7,000 customers as a whole. Wow. So, I mean, that's huge. That's a little huge, you guys. And so we just did this a couple of years ago, the whole team and everyone is working together. You know, it's that's just what happens when you have um, – a lot of people doing a little, you know, there are some people that are doing a lot, but a lot of the team, the community, and even in doTERRA, it's just a lot of people doing a little. And Claire and I were actually just talking about that before uh, this call. We we're, you know, going over the notes and whatnot. And a lot of people just want to be sharers. They just want to share. 
but every single share and every single person, even if you just tell one person, one, you're helping them, but two, that every little bit adds up to a lot, you know, and your business might be full of a bunch of shares and, um, you know, you, people bringing in a couple of people a month, but that is what you need. And that is what they need. It's staying consistent. And Claire was even just saying, she's like, she's, I don't think she's slow and consistent, but that's what you say. You're like, Oh, you're just, you know, you're consistent every month and it's amazing. And, um, anyway, so that's what happens when a lot of people are doing a little, it just, it, you blink and all of a sudden it's this huge movement. So congratulations. You guys are doing awesome. And then, um, Claire is rocking the skinny jeans challenge. You guys have been like off of the planet and don't know what that is yet. Um, Claire is going to give you some tips on how to do it. I called it in the, in the notes, I called it the, the skinny jeans hack that you're going to show them with your dropper tips. Right there. Are you still there? Okay. I'm still here. My computer, I don't know if you can hear me. Okay. My computer seems yeah. to be. It just maybe a little. It's fine. Okay. 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 Good. Um, yeah, I can see a big lag. So hopefully this works, but hello everybody. Thank you for, I'm so sorry. It took me a while to get on. Um, so what Bonnie's talking about is, um, I actually didn't come up with, but I'm definitely following it because who couldn't use a little bit of metabolism and hormone balancing <laughs> like boost, right? Um, so the yarrow palm is a secret sauce for that. There's a lot of other different oils you can take together, but that would be your, um, that'd be your baseline. Um, you can look in our customer group, search, uh, Yarrow Palm for all the stories and we're doing skinny jean and glowing skin challenge because the two top things people are using it for is for, um, dropping weight, like boosting your metabolism and kind of purging your body of excess, um, weight and then also balancing hormones. And then the skin, um, uh, putting it on your skin directly or mixing it in your moisturizer. People are having huge, you can, there's a video in there um, by Becky Parent that is amazing. So search Yarrow Palm and you'll see those two challenges. You can choose to do one or both uh, with us. I'm doing both because um, I want all the Yarrow Palm in my life. <laughs> um, Glowing skin, skinny body, yeah. what's not to like? Yes, your skin really does. Um, feel amazing. Like I already use the frankincense on it. Those are all really good. So some people have asked, do I do it in place of? No, do it together for best results. Um, just start basically start with what you have and then add that yarrow palm. It's super moisturizing. You wake up in the morning and your skin just feels really soft. And then here's my, I'm older than you gals. So here's my tip. Do not forget the neck and the back of your hands. Okay, I wish I had started 20 years ago with that. You know, we think, oh, just right here. No, do everything <laughs> because the neck is a big area as well. Um, so the skinny jean recipe that people are loving is frankincense, yarrow palm, uh, turmeric, uh, and pink pepper. And then people are also adding in, um, I've seen black pepper with that. Um, I add DVR prime into mine because I just I'm going to show you how I take mine just to make it super simple and easy because if it's not easy I'm I just I'm lazy by nature and so I won't do it <laughs> so it has to be easy and quick and then at my fingertips so um, the what was I going to say about that as well I felt like there was another oil is there another oil that people are doing without I think those are all of them Iva is that in it or no Clopiba is um, great, not necessarily for metabolism booster, but if you are needing additional help with inflammation and mood lifting, um, definitely I would really, or mood balancing, I would say, kind of if you need some grounding help, that's a really good recipe. But the yarrow palm is your base, so if you have that, do that. If you have any of the other oils, add them together. So here's my hack. Um, and I did a video on this. I think Becky Ferrant just did another one, but, um, you know, with Facebook and with as many 7,000 customers, we don't see every single post. So I think it's important to share this again. I take for my blends before I was doing the challenge. This is how I take all my blends of things that I want to, um, uh, take all at once in a veggie capsule or under the tongue. This one I do take in a veggie capsule because I personally cannot stand the turmeric 
<laughs> um, other people, they're like, no problem. So, um, there is a tea that I talked about. There is, if you blend it, like, but this is like not with anything special. This is just in there. So that's where I can't, I, this works for me. Um, so this is one hack. Take an empty 15 milliliter bottle. Mine, I happen to have a frankincense one. Get these dropper tops um, from Amazon. I think I got a pack of five for like five or six dollars. They fit perfectly. Just Google or search it in Amazon um, that they fit the doTERRA 15 milliliters. So worth it to have these. And then I did equal drops of all those oils. I personally put in 45, but it, I could fit more like 50, 60 of each. So then I just take my veggie cap two to three times a day. It's also great because if you are somebody who works outside the home or if you're on the go, you can carry this with you. Like all you need is a few, like one or two, whoops, one or two veggie capsules in your purse with this. And I open it up and then I take a, a dropper full and I fill it all the way to here. And so that's going to equal, um, that two, a minimum of the two drops per oil. It just kind of equals out that way. And then I swallow it like a pill. So I do morning and night because that routine, again, if it's not easy, I just won't do it. So morning and night is my normal routine with supplements. And so I add that in. And then when I remember, I'm taking a third one in the afternoon. It's really great. I would recommend or caution you about taking it late at night because um, I get a boost of energy from this. So um, last night I took it a little bit too late after dinner and I was up to like probably almost midnight. So, so if you're wanting energy, take it morning, that afternoon slump time and then like dinner and then cut yourself off <laughs> from there. So um, that's my easy hack with that. Put them all together and take it all at once. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And does it, you guys have any questions for her? Are you guys doing it also? Um, I had a quick question. I think I just missed it. I was wondering if you did equal parts of each of those oils in that 15 ml. I do. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I do equal. I do Frank, DDR Prime, Turmeric, Yellow Palm, and Pink Pepper. And then I also personally take Copaiba daily. Um, and I I don't know why I didn't mix it in with this one, but I just do two drops under the tongue. I just have my oil out and just quick, quick take everything all together in the morning. Or they come in the, um, I actually was taking the soft gels of the Copaiba. Those came out and they're really nice and convenient, but I just ran out. So I still have the oil. So I was taking that. Okay. Yeah, equal parts. Awesome. Okay, so we're keeping on the schedule here. The next thing we're talking about is follow up, but Rachel just got on. Rachel, I'd love for you to introduce yourself because it's so awesome to see your face on here. Right, I'm going to unmute you for a second. Oh, no, you, you did it yourself. Perfect. Awesome. Welcome. Um, I would love for you to introduce yourself to the team and for anyone who's like watching the recording and just kind of share what brought you into oils, what, what are your goals. We just can't wait to hear from you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, so I'm really new to this team. I'm not new to doTERRA. I've actually been using it for five-ish years. Wow. And um, I just joined Shelly's team. Uh, she's going to be my third upline, and she's awesome. And I'm really excited to see where she takes it. Um, but I, you know, I'm new. So I'm actually, Bonnie, I've been stalking all of your YouTube videos. <laughs> Just learning a lot that way. I have uh, enrolled four um, in the last month and I've done my first two classes. So I'm excited and I'm just trying to absorb as much as I can. I love it. Okay, so first of all, Shelly is amazing. You yes. Know, great hands with Shelly. She's a machine. I mean, she's a crazy machine. And when she gets an idea in her head, she just like goes with it. And we love Shelly. So, um, okay, so. How do you know Shelly, first of all? How did you guys meet? Oh, randomly met through a um, mutual in Instagram acquaintance. So that's, that's how we're cyber friends. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. She was nervous about getting on Instagram, and now she's, like, going to town on it. So right. awesome. Okay, how um, – well, congratulations on getting your first, uh, you know, your first four customers and classes. How did your classes go? How – are you like loving sharing the oils? 
share, I, we'd love to hear how it's going for you so far. Yeah, it's going really well. So I just kind of had to wing it because I'm out here in Arizona and Shelly obviously is not. <laughs> so again, I did amazing YouTube and I watched a couple of different people do the one-on-one -on -one class presentation and I wrote a bunch of notes and I was like, okay, well, I can talk about this and that and the other. And then I just invited people over. So I recently moved from the middle of nowhere, Arizona, where literally there's more cows than people to a more uh, suburb met you know area not the main metro but suburbs so there are people here that i can get to and so i had some um i just posted on our our facebook group for the neighborhood and said hey you know if you guys want to learn about oils come over to my house and i did that and then i did a make and take where we did a little diffuser bracelet um and so i'm just starting to realize hey there's people here and i can talk to them and so it's gonna it was pretty fun and i actually really enjoyed it so um, you know, I was nervous to begin with, but I think that it was a lot of fun and it's neat just to share, um, how I've used oils and how, you know, they've helped us and our family. So I feel like having people around is kind of a little bit of a game changer. <laughs> okay. First of all, you're awesome. That's Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good job. Seriously. Oh, wow. Okay. So you, when did you move? And Claire used to live in, uh, where do you live? Uh, right there? <laughs> Uh, we, we live in Florence actually, which is south of, it's south of the Phoenix Metro. Um, but yeah, we like it down here. It's, it's warm in the, the summer, but that's okay. I feel like I'm defrosting cause we were up in the North country where it's really cold before. So, um, yeah, we moved in June and, um, but yeah, I, like I said, this is my third, <laughs> my third go at a doTERRA team. And uh, this is the first time I've actually ever done any classes or enrolled anybody. So it, it, it may be a third time's a charm then. So um, it, it was a lot of fun and I'm enjoying just kind of see how it goes. So welcome. Yeah. welcome. What are your favorite oils? Uh, well, I have two boxes. <laughs> I love frankincense. So Bonnie, I have been stealing your frankincense posts and oh, posting great. them in my little oil group. This, uh, I put together an oil group during the BOGO week. That was like my first go at anything. I had a couple customers that week and I've just been plugging people in as they're interested. Um, so I've been using the daily drop and frankincense. I use that all the time. We're dealing with colds in our home. I have five kids. So right now we're diffusing on guard and breathe like 24 seven. And, <laughs> and then I have a sleep potion that I love to use on my kids. It has the vetiver, uh, copaiba and lavender in it, I think. Um, which I also throw on guard in there too, because you might as well. Right. right. Wow. <laughs> what are the ages of your kids? Oh, what are your ages? <laughs> okay, I've got 11 is our oldest, and then 10. He's home today because he's still not feeling good. And then eight and five-year-old twins. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. Okay, we'll We're be busy. We'll be learning from you. So, wow. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for you, and you're just a perfect example of getting out of your fear, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, facing your fears. You just moved there and you're posting in your neighborhood group and learning on YouTube. I mean, that's where I feel like most of us do all of our learning is from YouTube or videos or other leaders, you know, I mean, it's just a collaboration. And even the, the Frank posts I got um, is from a, a leader and that shares with the diamonds and we're all sharing and helping with each other. So uh, you're just going out and taking it and doing it. So I love that. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and I'm glad you got on. Great to see your face. Uh, okay, so now, and this actually it rolls in line perfect with what we're talking about today for the next few minutes is following up with those BOGO customers, right? So we just got these new customers. I mean, our team had hundreds of new customers that rolled in through the BOGOs, and now we're like, okay, so we have all these new customers, and how do we take care of them? How do we serve them? Um, you know, we don't want them obviously just to buy a BOGO and, and never buy again. We want them to experience all the different oils and the supplements and, uh, you know, really want that person to be a lifetime customer, not just obviously to be a customer, but because the oils can literally change their lives. And so um, sometimes when people come in for a deal, you know, they might not, 
it's like people value don't value what they get for free. Not that it was free, but some of it was free, half of it, right? But we want them to value all of the products, right? And so uh, I was taking notes, Claire and I were talking of ways to connect with our customers, especially the BOGO customers, just again, to really show them what doTERRA is about, right? So I'm gonna go over a couple of the things that we talked about, but then we want you to come in and share, like, Robin, what are you doing? And Rachel, you, are, you might already be doing stuff, so I'd love to hear what you're doing. And Robin, she just walked away, but you know, I wanna hear what you guys are doing too. So one, we have an awesome ebook. You know, I've been sharing that with my customers. The, another diamond in doTERRA made that. Actually, there's two of them that are floating around that we can share, so then maybe they, got all five BOGOs or maybe just a couple, but so now they're learning extra education. You know, I always like to make sure everyone knows the top 10 oils, but some of these um, oils are not the top, top 10. So now we want to give them recipes. We want them, again, not just to buy the BOGO because they're excited, they're getting a deal, but also to know how to use it, implement it, have it become part of their life, talk about it, share it, you know, the whole deal. Um, I like to make sure everyone signs up for a membership call with me. Right, and that doesn't always happen. I don't know about you guys, Claire and I were just talking. Sometimes it takes a couple of months to get them on the phone. Sometimes they want it that day. It just depends. You know, most people, they want to like, especially with Christmas, they want to settle in a little bit and then um, maybe dive in a little bit more in January. And so, um, this piece of hair, it's if they're not responding to you, it's not that they're not wanting it right now. It's they want that customer service. And they want it, um, like, we're, again, we're joking. Claire, sometimes I wish we could record our calls before the call, <laughs> because they're actually pretty good, you know. Um, um, good. They probably should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people, like, if you're messaging them, and that has, happens to me, too, where I'm talking to people, or, or following up with them, like, five to six times, and they're still not messaging me back, or getting back to me, they're not getting on the phone with me, but then one day, they're like, oh, it's ready, I'm ready, I, like, have a question, or something changes in their life, and they want to talk now, or they're the ones apologizing to me or Claire, whoever like, I'm so sorry, I haven't ca caught up with you. But if I only stopped with one or two talk, you know, touches with them, they had been gone forever, you know? I mean, not forever, because they're still in our groups and all the other ways to connect with them. But um, we're not annoying them by, by talking to them or trying to follow never up. Mad. I've they never had anybody mad that I kept following up. Never, 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 never once. Apologetic and thankful. Yes. Yes, or, or, and sometimes it's been months and people have life, you know. Um, I One of the things I've been doing is asking every single person, are they in the oil club? Because now Facebook changed the way they do things. Before, we could just add them to the oil club and they were in it, but now they have to approve themselves to be in it. So I like to go back and say, are you in the oil club? Did you see it? Like I, I add them and I tag them. I tell them to go to the pin post. You know, if there's something specific they want to, to learn about, I'll tag them. Um, but that way they go in there like, oh yes, I did check it out. I watched this video or this and that. I want them to find the information because that group is so valuable and not everyone can offer what we offer, right? I mean, there are years of experience and posts and files and videos and pictures and testimonials. I mean, when someone joins us, I really do feel like that's like the jackpot to join that. And when we started, that's, like that was my vision. I'm like, I want a place where they can go. Cause when I started, even when I started my VIP group, there were no groups that I knew of, none. I was looking for them. I couldn't find any oil groups. And so that's why I'm like, well, we have to create that group and we have to create what doesn't exist right now. And that's why I'm like, I, I just love that group. And I feel like it adds so much value. And so I want to make sure everyone knows about it and they know where it is. They should add it to their favorite. I always tell people it's my favorite group on Facebook. It's actually my favorite thing to do when I get on Facebook is to go in that group because um, Facebook's busy, right? But we're trying to add value. And so it's up to us too to keep adding value to make that group a place where people want to be, right? Um, I, this is an easy question, but sometimes you forget, ask them how they're liking their oils, right? They just got it. Before you ever talk about another sale or another promo or any kind of thing, you should be asking them how are they liking the products they're already using. And if they don't know how to use them, then that's our job to either direct them to a resource or get on the phone, have a conversation. Um, everyone obviously needs different help. Some people need hand holding, and some people just point them in the direction. And I'm I'm more of the person I'd like to just point them in the direction because that saves us both time, and they're still getting the information, you know. 
Um, if you have an email list, add them to the list. If not, send them an email with all of the information, like the, the um, specials and whatever. I just sent an email out to my customers. I don't know if you guys, Claire, I don't know if you got it, but um, cause with the emails, probably everyone gets it, but it's like the 10 things they needed to know for December. And I'm like, here's the ebook. Here's the December promo. Here's this. I just highlighted the top things. So even if they aren't on Facebook, like here's the LRP giveaway. Here's, you know, just if they did nothing else, but just click on those things, they would be up to date. Um, and then this is one thing that, that Nikki does really well. Um, Nikki at Farm Hustle, she's a diamond in our group. Um, she homeschools during the day, so she'll never get her face on this video. But um, she, actually, she listened in the other day on her lunch break. But what she does for her new customers, and I just love this idea, is that she will, and we all send out welcome packages, or you know, a lot of us do, and you don't have to, but um, in her welcome packages, she will message them, and she does it all through voice message, and say, part of your welcome package, I'm giving you one or two samples of an oil that you don't have for my collection. Right, and she has all the oils, but um, and so then she will say like, "What oils do you want to try next, or what other health issues are you working on?" So that way, they're opening up to her. Maybe they got the Bogo, or they got the Top Ten, but they really have been dying to try Serenity or the Copaiba, or you know the, the whatever other something, the Wild Orange, something that did come in the kit. So now she knows what they want, and then she's like, "Well, what do you want it for? How are they going to use it?" Um, if they want it in a roller, she'll put it in a little roller bottle of coconut oil with a roller top so they can start using it. Or you can use your old roller bottles or your old, um, you know, five mils or whatever to use as a sample. Or if they want to just make their own something or diffuse it, she'll just give it to them straight. And that starts that conversation. And people are definitely going to want to follow up with you or, or respond to your follow up when you're giving them something for free. Right. So that's an easy way to get that conversation open and going. And now she's knowing their needs. She sends it in the mail. Now she has another reason to follow up with them. How did you like the sample on top of the other gifts? You know, so it's just the more times you talk and connect with your customers, the better they're going to feel. The relationship is built. Um, eventually, maybe they want to start sharing. And then, um, you know, obviously send them a welcome package. I always say, let me know when you get your package because then once they get it, then we can have that conversation again. Um, and I use a Google um, sheet to keep track of, of everybody. But what I used to do, and we have it in our oil leadership team Facebook um, file, is a um, printout that you can print out. It has all the, you can put your customer's name, all their information, what they ordered, and you can like literally check off all the months you follow up with them. So you know, okay, it's been a month, I need to follow up with this person, it's been three months, oh, time to upgrade as an advocate, whatever. Um, it's a great way to keep track. So I highly suggest you do that. And then um, let's say you have a follow-up day, now you know to follow up with everyone who's enrolled with you, you know, to see they, they've they been touched and taken care of. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stop talking for a second. Brittany or Robin or Claire or Rachel, what are you guys doing or do you guys have anything different or what's been working for you i want i don't want to be the one talking but i just want to share on the notes regarding follow up yeah so this is my system oh the note cards <laughs> yay i've done that i've done that before. awesome i was actually going to ask you about your like if you were using um spreadsheet or what for that because it's getting out of control like there's like that's just for today <laughs> is that the drawing slips or is that um oh yeah is, is that, that drawing slips or no, no card what is that drawing slips oh, oh yeah okay. no, same thing <laughs> i have a big stack <laughs> yes so um i have i have a few follow-up ideas but i wanted to see what they're doing too because yeah i just wrote down a bunch of stuff that you said because i always learn new things right yeah um, but, Brittany, what are you, you going to do with that list? Yeah. Do you want me to share, or do you guys have yeah, something you want to share too? Go ahead. No, okay. Go oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> and then you tell me if something pops in your head, because, like I said, I wrote down a couple good ones from you. So, um, let's see. Make making them. Like, I got to read through my notes, so I keep it in. So, first of all, ask a lot of questions in your follow up. Lots and lots, like Bonnie mentioned. 
So it's not just, you know, hey, glad to have you, glad you, did you get your oil? Okay, great. <laughs> you know, person asking the questions is in control. So how did you, how do you like it? And then how do you want to use that? Why did you buy that oil? And then I do use a lot more, that's where I go more in depth with um, pointing them to their resource I tag, by tagging them in the oil club because I want them to know how to use that resource. I'm really big on that because that is duplication and that frees up my time. Um, is teaching them how to search, where to find that stuff. Um, welcome packets, there's free in the files is I have my oils now what plus the favorite recipes. You can print that out and at the very least you just have one stamp and then if you want to add on any other goodie bag stuff you can but just start where your budget is and make sure they have all of that. Um, patience and following up is really key and knowing that it's not about you. Um, I'll tell you a story about one customer. She's in an extreme situation, but it just goes to say, so she, she enrolled at BOGOs in July and um, I did a deal for her where she purchased, um, at the end, of, she tallied up what she wanted and then on the last day she purchased them all. So she qualified for 100 PV and she got her membership then, so I had the freebie. So she got the freebie that day, and then I had bought the freebies for the other day. So long story short, I had oils for her to pick up that she had already gotten since July, and she just came to my monthly customer workshop on last Saturday, okay? So that is like you never stop following up. And it was great. She spent an hour here. We made, um, for me, when my customers are local, that's where they get their free sample. That's the enticement. Oh, I have free samples for you. I've got, you get two free rollers. Let's go bring your oils. We go through your kit. And it was really, really key to get her there. But it took six months or less, whatever, five months or something. And um, so she's extreme, but it does happen. And so you never stop following up. I had another customer that had joined before BOGOs and she came on Saturday finally and brought her kit and now she's all excited and she placed uh, we set up her up 200 LRP right there so if they're with you you open up that computer and you get them right on now if they don't live near you then I love Nikki's idea and I also I make people winners so um, if it's been a while or if they won't connect with me, I have some people from the vendor event. So that LLV giveaway that we have, be strategic. So it is designed to help your customers say, oh, I haven't tried that yet. They get a free DDR Prime and Zendocrine roller, or you could choose one or the other. I had one gal that having a hard time connecting with me. And so, oh my gosh, you're a winner this month. You know, let's connect and get your she's all excited, you know, blah, blah, blah. So there can be more, even though I'm announcing winners, there can be more than one. You can announce your own customers or you can just tell me, say, hey, announce this person so I can connect with them. I've also gone through and privately messaged people that like, um, especially with customers that were enrolled by other people that maybe the advocates don't really want to do the business. So nobody's taking care of them. And uh, it'll just be like one month I did like 20 people and I was like, hey, congratulations you're a winner of our, our monthly customer giveaway. <laughs> and so connect with me and let's, I want to get you a special a roller designed just for you. So out of 22 people took me up on that. Those are people that hadn't been serviced in like over a year. So there's some good, you know, follow up with that. Um, okay, the Adam and Tagum, you mentioned that. Make them a winner. And then really, Bonnie mentioned it too, our job is to make them oil lovers. You need to help them solve a problem solve their biggest problem first and then help them solve another problem and make them not make but help them fall in love with the oil lifestyle it's new it's a new language that's where they're at so while we are like come on get on lrp right away you know on the business side but on the other side we are there to help them grow at whatever pace it is so i've had customers get on LRP months later and some set it up right away. So have your systems in place knowing what is my system when a customer enrolls. I add them and tag them to oil club. I'm going to um, connect with them to do that. Great. Now let's do your oil overview because I want you to know about all the ways to use your oils and all the free stuff you get from doTERRA. 
when are you free this time, this time, or come to my monthly what workshop and we do it there or how, whatever your system is. And then you just never stop with that. Um, stop pursuing, but you still move on. You have to move on to new people. But it, if you are patient and persistent and think about where they're at, you know, watch and see what they're posting and asking about on wherever in Facebook, like, Oh, Hey gosh, you know, I, I saw you mentioned this. Did you know that this oil in your kit, could help you. Would you like to know how to use it? Mm -hmm. You know, so just really purposing to help them fall in love and learn the oil lifestyle will build a stronger, um, you know, business in the long run. And the oil, I use the oil club like mad, like I have my own oil group. That's my prospect group. And I do have customers there too. They can be there, but the goal is to move them into the oil club because it's such an amazing, I mean, it's a great resource for me. I did a make and take with, um, at an elementary school with a teacher friend and she was talking up that group. She's like, you guys, you have to become a wholesale member just so you get in that group. She goes, it's golden. I do. I believe that. Yeah. Yes, it is. And she told them that she's like, you guys have to be in here. This is, this is your resource. This is how you learn the lifestyle and you won't regret it. You know? And they're like, okay. <laughs> so, um, so just know that it's golden. Yep. And then be sure to post in there yourself because of how Facebook works. Um, your customers will then see you, you know, show your stories, facts, tell stories, sell. So yep. those are a couple of my ideas. And then it's still an individual kind of case by case situation too. I mean, you have your, your system in place, but everybody has a little unique situation as to why they won't talk with you or the follow-up system. So you kind of have to be respectful of that too. Yep. Um, and one thing, again, that we were talking about, but I follow Mommy Millionaire. She's a podcaster for another company, but an awesome podcast. And she was talking about specifically um, sales for the Christmas season. And when you're getting excuses, I'm moving on a little bit, but um, yeah. those are my notes. But um, if you're getting people saying like they can't afford it or whatever because of Christmas, most likely it's because you're putting that out there that maybe you can't afford it or maybe you're thinking they can't afford it or um you know if you weren't in it you would probably wouldn't be buying it because it's maybe not a priority or whatever it is but if you're getting those kind of excuses it's because you're putting that out there um which is why i love the skinny jeans challenge that claire was talking about because when people think skinny jeans they're like I'm going to look so good on New Year's. I'm going to look so good in Christmas or whatever, put on all those skinny clothes and, you know, go to the parties and, you know, feel so great. That's a connection, emotional connection that they want. Um, and, and when you believe it, like when we're talking, when we believe it, you're like, yeah, this is amazing. Like, you know, I buy this with my own money and I would, you know, I'm thinking it's not a waste for them. It's like, I, I'm not just trying to get a sale. Like I wholeheartedly believe in it. So when people hear that in your tone, they will uh, mirror it, you know? Um, and then this is also got me thinking to something that I heard Ange Peters say a while ago, but someone was asking um, about, they're like, well, people aren't taking me seriously with their business. And she said, uh, well, do you take yourself seriously? And so I thought that was a good question for us to again ask because um, again, Claire and I were talking, Claire, we need a video, we need to record all of our calls, um, that people sometimes like, oh my gosh, it's Christmas, I'm going to take the Christmas off, and this and that, but when you're, when you're doing that, when you're taking time off, I mean, obviously, we could take time off as a, as the freedom of this business, but when um, you're just like, well, whatever, I'll start again in the new year, or whatever, you're not serious, and people don't want to be, you know, joining with people who are not serious, they want that help, either guiding them with their lifestyle or their business or both. So um, this is the time where the true leaders are developed, I feel like, and the, and the true leaders rise because they have a goal and they're, people want to join with people who are serious and people who are going places with or without them. They, they want on that train. Um, okay, so then the last thing we have is, um, Brittany. So Brittany, and then we want to keep these short. So a couple minutes, but we have a, a um, schedule for our call. So they're going to be 30 minutes. And the last thing is a business testimonial or um, 
just sharing of the story. And so Brittany's been rocking it. We've had her on, what, two or three weeks? We, we, have you been on all three of these so far? I think so. I right? missed last week. Okay. Right. So Brittany is a rising star. She's enrolling. She's uh, advancing in rank. She's doing all these amazing things. She's coming out of her shell and she's doing all these videos. And so we wanted you to share your awesome new series that you're doing because I think it's, um, it's something that I've wanted to do. I've seen other people do them. It's, it's, you're inspiring me to like get going again um, on the series, but also it kind of is like a circle from the way we started the call. It's just getting outside your comfort zone and just doing it. So Brittany, I'll let you explain what you're working on. Okay, well, um, way back, like a few months ago, I was thinking about this. Um, I've started a video every day. I'm trying to get on every day. Um, there's been a few days that I wasn't able to, but um, each day I highlight either a oil or a couple different oils. Um, and then I just explain the top uses of those oils and um, how I use them too. And if it's something that I haven't, used or I don't have in my stock it's something that I want now because I'm learning more about it so um that's that's cool too well I started this before the video I was before I decided to do videos I was terrified of them <laughs> and I was hiding my face a lot and just you know posting in my um group just you know text and picture and stuff and um I did an album from A to Z and oils so I have all of those all of those pictures all laid out for everyone so I I do send a lot of my customers or people that are not customers yet I send them to that album hey, wait, I but love that. that did you did you get the doTERRA photos the ones that have all the graphic um, the information on, or what what did you do for their mm -hmm. albums um I don't know I think I got it from um, Lisa's bizdo graphics oh, okay got it Cool. Yeah, it just tells like the primary benefits and stuff of them. And then I have a specific um, album in my group about the top 10 oils too. So I refer to that quite a bit as well. So that was initially my, my go-to for it. And then I didn't see a whole lot of people like react to it or comment on anything. So um, I found a lot of the time I watch videos over, you know, like looking through albums and pictures and stuff. I like to watch videos, so I decided to start that. And so I put hashtags on the top and um, put the pictures that I had already did all the work to look for. I put it on the side after I do the live, and it's been it's been really awesome. I've been liking it a lot. Awesome! I love that. Are you putting on YouTube also? I'm not. I don't really know how. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll just say this one last thing and then I'm gonna end this. Um, I highly recommend you do that because okay. when I started, I had zero intention of growing a YouTube channel and I still really don't consider myself having a YouTube channel. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't care about getting it monetized or any of that kind of stuff. I basically just wanted to do my videos in my groups and that was it. But what has happened, I figured, you know what? Um, what I, I didn't want to lose the work that I did because I'm a big, big, big believer in doing the work once and like getting residual, not just, not just, you know, payments or income off of that one thing, but time freedom. Like you do it once. I don't, I don't want to keep redoing the same video. Do you know what I mean? Or it's doing the same thing. I wanted to send somebody somewhere to watch it themselves and I don't want to repeat myself a thousand times. So every time I did a video, you just click on it, make it big because it's, they might have changed it, but it's actually harder to go back and do your old video. So right as you do it fresh, click it. There's three dots on the top. Click download. You have to like be in it. You can't just click on the videos and then do rec do download. So that's why it's like really important to do it right away. And I told Claire this like a hundred times too. And like anyone who's doing a video, um, you just download your computer and then upload it. You can do it private. You can do it unlisted. You can do it public, whatever you want. But um, some I have private that I don't have public, but I started making all of them public and, and again, no one was really watching it, but now because I did all that work, now it's actually built up where there's, you know, several thousand people on there and I've received new customers from YouTube 
because they're going searching, they want to watch videos. So you're doing all the work. Um, I would just put it out there. The only thing is you have to 100% be compliant. Mm-hmm. Like that's, I mean, you obviously want to be compliant anytime, but a private group is a little bit different than being out in the public land, right? Because doTERRA is watching and they've had me take down or edit a few of my videos. If I said cold and flu for on guard, I can't, I have to say under the weather, those kind of things. Um, but anyway, you're doing the work so that way it can be repeated and then you can send people to your, your YouTube channel and they can watch all of them or you can find new people. And I am, um, I'm reading pretty much out of this. Okay. It's not, life. not compliant. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. so. <laughs> I, that's, that's why I made my group private. Yeah, you could do it. That's kind of why I haven't done mine on YouTube because I, yeah. I have a really hard time being compliant and I just say everything and I'm not as big as Bonnie right now, so they're not watching me yet. <laughs> yeah. It's just, but it's yeah. Cons, obviously, um, but I just like that now all those videos are done. I don't have to redo that. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, so I just, earache is ear discomfort, headache is head tension under the weather is, you know, you're, you're feeling down and out, whatever. Like you just have these different things. And then before you know it, you're just used to saying it, but yeah, people don't always get that, but they don't. And I, if you're doing the work, I just, the A to Z um, series, that would be, that would be worth it. Um, a good one to have on the, well, what Jesse Reimers does is the emotional benefits. And that's, how do you argue being compliant with that? It's just emotions that I know of. You know, obviously you can't say, um, you know, different things. If it's suicidal or anything that's like super heavy, obviously. But you could say it's going to, you know, purge your negative emotions. Like the Yarrow Palm, you could say that. So, anyway, okay, Brittany, I think you're doing awesome. I wanted to keep yeah. this too long. Um, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are rocking it. Rachel, thanks for getting on. So great to see your face. And I hope that your family is feeling better soon. And um, all right, I will put this on YouTube. <laughs> and I tried multiple times while we were talking to get to live in the group, but it just wasn't working today. So I don't know what's going on with that. Mm-hmm. But you guys, yeah, thanks for getting on. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.